Hello and happy Friday. Today's March 27th and it would be an A day if we were still in school. And just like last Friday where I talked about independent reading, I'm going to continue with that theme for this Friday. As I explained before, on Fridays in ELA and Highland Middle School, we always did Just Read It, which was our program to foster independent reading and fluency. So I wanna keep with that theme. I'm not gonna talk about the importance of selecting a book or, or why we need to do independent reading. Instead, I'm going to talk about where you can get books to read. You know, with everything being shut down due to COVID-19, it can be hard to get access to new material. You know, you might be limited in what you have at home. So right now we need to focus on our digital solutions. And there's a good amount out there if you know where to look. So I'm gonna go over seven different sources, which is perfect because this is also video number seven. And I, I think that just works out great. So for our first source, we're gonna go with Audible, which a lot of people have heard about. You know, it's been around for a good amount of time, but right now, due to all the school closures, Audible is doing something special where they're providing a, a good sized selection of books for students who have been you know, forced to stay home due to school closures. And that's a great resource to have. And the source, the, the books that they have there at that source are pretty varied. So they have books for very little kids, storybooks and so forth, and all the way up to young adult and, and you know, more sophisticated novels. So if you have little children, little siblings or, or nephews and nieces that are with you and you want material for them, that would be a great place to go. And I'll have a specific link in the comments or description below this video. I can't embed them in, into the video because apparently you need to have like a thousand subscribers to do fancy stuff like that. And I can't do that. So make sure you check that. So Audible has a great thing. It's got a very specific page and the link I'll include will take you directly to that for the, the free section. Uh, spot number two or source number two is specific to iOS and that's the Books app. And Apple has always had a free section on their Books app, and now would be a great time to take advantage of that if you have an iOS device, so an iPhone or an iPad. And go through there, browse. You can have the e-reader version, so you can actually read the books, and I believe they always have the auditory vision version, so you can listen to it as well. The selection is going to be limited. I, as far as right now, Apple hasn't expanded it due to uh, Corona. They've just advertised it more, but they're free. And if you have an Apple device, it's a great source to get some new material to read. So check out Books, the Books app on, on an Apple device for some things. Third one is Spotify. And most people, when they think of Spotify, they think of music. You know, it's well known as a music streaming app, but they actually do offer audiobooks on Spotify. So if you have an account with Spotify, you can have access to that. You can search for audiobooks. And if you don't, you can sign up for a free trial for Spotify and, and look at their audiobooks and, and have access to some new material that way. And that could be a, a good source right now to get you something new in, in the meantime. Now, fourth source really hinges on your public libraries. And I, I can't say this enough, public library is one of the most important resources in your community. And in Highland, we have a wonderful public library. And I'm not just saying that because my mother-in-law used to be the president of the board there and really spearheaded the renovation of it. I'm saying it because they're important. Libraries, you know, the repository of information. You gotta take advantage of those. And right now, they're closed in most places due to Corona, but they still have great resources to find digital versions, right? So if you find your public library's website and log into it, you can oftentimes be able to download right from that public library e-versions of books, right? So that you can read them right on your mobile device, iPad or tablet or computer. But also through that, there's a couple of other surf uh, services that give you expanded access to other sources. So the first one that I wanna talk about is Overdrive. And Overdrive is an app, you can download it to your computer and it lets you check out books through your public library and it has an incredible selection of novels and other sources. You'd be surprised at what you have uh, available to you. 
And usually it's timed. You can check out like one or two at a time, but they're full books. And you can get the audio version as well as, you know, the e-reader version. And the app for OverDrive is pretty great. It can tie into whatever audio uh, support service you use on your device. So if you have iTunes, if you have an Apple service, you can download the audio book right into iTunes and listen to it on your, your mobile device that way. If you have an Android device, there's a way to get the MP3 to listen to it on that device. Loco sighting. So Overdrive gives you a lot of access to different novels and, and it's a great source for that. Going along with that, there's another thing called uh, RB Digital. And RB Digital is similar to Overdrive. It's connected through your public library service, but it also gives you access to things like comic books and magazines, which can be great because that's something that's often overlooked. I, being the nerd that I am, love comic books, and they can be a wonderful source of entertainment and reading. And of course, for the drawing piece, you know, being able to see those, Digital comics are, are an awesome thing to witness and can help you with that as well for your, for your drawing needs. So RB Digital is another one. There's an app through the App Store and Google Play Store. You, you can download it, log in, do your credentials through your public library, and then have access to a really large selection of books, magazines, and comics. So that's a pretty great source. All right Now, uh, Hoopla Digital. Hoopla Digital is, again, it's done through your, your library service. You, you log in, you, you go through your public library, and you again have access to novels, storybooks, and I think you can get some periodicals, magazines through that one as well. So that is also a very great source. Now, one other source, and this one is really geared towards little children, but I think for the age group that I normally teach, middle school and high school, I think it's important that if you have younger siblings or nieces and nephews that are with you right now, maybe they are in isolation with you because you have to take care of them, you want to read to them, right? One of the great ways to teach yourself or to become more fluent at reading is to read aloud and read to others. And Storyline Online, Storyline Online has access to children's books, pictures books picture books, and it's a great resource to do that. And it has two different things. So you can read the books, you can have access to that, but it also has audiobook versions, and their little unique spin on it is that the audio versions are read by celebrities. So they have different celebrities reading different stories, and typically the celebrity who's reading it has chosen the children's book based on some kind of connection or importance to their own life. So that, that's a our little bonus eighth source there. And I think that's a pretty great one to have. So, you know, if it might not necessarily be, you know, relevant to you, I think it's an important source for you to check out. Maybe show it to mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, whomever is watching you. If you have small little ones at home, I think you should check that one out for them. So that I think wraps it up for today and this week. Now, the way it's been structured, at least here in New York, Next week is really going to start things off in a, in a much, let's say, more formal pace for, for distance learning. And it's going to be important during that time period to really be both patient and focused, right? Things are going to go wrong inevitably when you start really having a more formal push with the distance learning. There's gonna be significantly more people logging in. There's going to be what seems like significantly more demand on you. And take a deep breath, relax, you'll get through it, all right? If a program crashes because of the load, because of all the people trying to log on to it, take a couple seconds, try again, Take a couple minutes, try again. We understand, I promise you. The teachers I personally work with, they understand that it's hard on you. Teachers that I don't work with, I can guarantee you understand the incredible burden on you right now. So don't worry, we're all in this together. We'll all get through it together. And we all have a common goal to help you 
learn, adapt, and grow through this time. And we'll do it. We'll be successful. So this is the end of this video. We're at the weekend. I'm really going to try to create some sort of video for drawing over this weekend. We'll see if I can do it. I do have a tripod coming in hopefully today and I'll see if I can get that set up in such a way that I can take a video of me actually drawing and I'll talk about some technique for drawing that. And next week, you know, we'll make some new videos. Again, leave a comment, make some suggestions. Let me know how you're doing. Um, I'll have my email down in the description as well. And I hope everyone's doing well. Until next time, be good.